Well, happy Tuesday. We are picking up after Snow Peak, which I've heard people say is their favorite thing in the whole game, and I, I can understand why. Um, also, someone on YouTube pointed out that there are no hearts anywhere in the entire the entire du dungeon. It's not like it is really funny. I still think it's funny that dungeon is the word that we wound up adopting for D and D. Yeah, well, like, that's the thing is the soup is an interesting choice. Like, so it means that you're more dependent on having to circle back to the starting point. Um, and part of that is like the way the dungeon is built, where you have to go back and visit the Yeti's wife to um, kind of get the next place to go unlocked. But also... Uh, you build kind of a, a connection emotionally to the Yeti because you have to go back and talk to him regularly and get the soup. Um, and so if you could just get hearts, you know, you might not go back. Um, but I think it makes a lot of sense emotionally since this is the most emotional part of the game. Hi, guys! <laughs> We're talking about what's so effective about Snow Peak and why this is one of everyone's uh, favorite places, which I under I can understand. I would actually say that this is one of them. I mean, I think that this is, you know, you know Twilight Princess actually has done a pretty good job of having emotional moments. Um, and it feels like nice and like cinematic and emotional. Um, man, I should maybe hold off on, on, on talking about things. I should give myself a few minutes for folks to show up. And usually I do. Usually I put a coming soon thing, but I didn't today for some reason. My apologies. Um, yeah, no, so Snow Peak is, is a really intentional, intelligent, like emotionally sculpted experience. Um, because you have to keep going back to get soup. So you get to know the Yeti. You get to know his soup. And his soup becomes more effective the more you bring food. Not that I know that, I think. Because I didn't get soup until later. Um, but uh, you get you get that that kind of... You have to be at soup. Yes, well, go. You, you have to... you. It's a thing that you can do in games that you can't necessarily do. I don't think you can do it in any other medium because there's the um, interactivity um, changes the way you experience a story emotionally. So by making you the player repeatedly engage with something, you the player develop an interaction and, 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 and have an emotional connection to that thing, whether it's annoying um, through like, you know, gameplay elements, ideally intentionally, and you're just like, oh, not again. Or through like, the, it's like, you know, when you like spend more time with a character in your party, you kind of bond with them. Like part of why I love Lot Cold from Final Fantasy VI so much is because when I was a little kid and my sister and I played through the game, you can assign different characters to be able to, to be played with controllers. Um, so you could actually play Final Fantasy VI sort of two player. And my sister, um, made me play as Locke, who is the weakest character in your party for the first chunk of the game. Um, and she would just attack him. <laughs> and so he and I kind of trauma bonded. <laughs> um, and, but, but that sort of thing, like you can develop a bond with characters because of those experiences that you have on a meta level. So even outside of the cutscenes that happen in the game or the dialogue that develops that character's personality and in doing so, um, shares like story elements that make you attached to that character. Um, the simple act of bonding with that character through the gameplay, spending that time with that character, whether you're protecting that character or getting soup from that character, um, it, it really does cause you to, to form a, an emotional connection. And since Snow Peak is clearly meant to be one of the most emotional parts of the game, um, and it's not like it's like heart wrenching, cause it's not, they just, um, in order for that boss fight to be effective, I mean, like, it's a fine boss fight on its own, but to accomplish what they want to accomplish with it, which is very clearly intentionally, um, you have to like the Yeti and the Yeti wife. Like, you have to like them. Because if you do, then instead of just being like, oh, it's a fight, 
Like, you're like, this is this really sweet lady that I know. And she's, and I, you know, she's too sweet for this. And her husband will be heartbroken if anything happens to her. Like, you know them and you care about them. And that's really neat because a lot of times in Zelda games, um, you don't necessarily get to know a lot of the people that you run across. Um... Yeah, no, Blue Goss, it's, it's interesting. I would say the difference between dungeon and boss is that dungeon has an, has, a, has an inherently negative connotation, whereas boss these days didn't for a while. Anyway, it's starting to a little bit more have some connotation that's less positive or at least less neutral. Maybe not positive. Maybe it's never been positive, but less neutral. Um, but that's a whole pol political discussion. Hey, I hope you guys voted in the primaries if you're American. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, Snow Peak has a lot of heart. It's a very good. <laughs> Thanks, Deviant Fart. Yeah, sorry, I just realized this is probably a little bit loud. Yeah, I read pretty fast. And I also like, so when you're, um, when you're reading chat and engaging with chat while streaming, at least in my experience, you sometimes can't allow yourself to read every single word someone says so you kind of have to gloss it a bit and like digest the heart of what it says which means which is why sometimes i'll like misunderstand the thing that a person says um because i like talking to chat obviously this is all we've done for like you know eight minutes or so um but it's it can be hard to juggle that and playing the game at the same time so maybe if i put this here so i'm trying to figure out with a slightly different setup how things are going to work out. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'm from Texas, but I didn't get to vote in the primary because I sent my long distance voting stuff in and they apparently didn't get it. So I emailed them about it and they were like, we didn't get it. So I resent it to them and they said they're going to process it. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, it's important to vote if you're old enough to vote, regardless of what you vote. Um, there's the saying, the personal is political, the political is personal, and it's true. Um, politics, especially these days, although I don't know if it's ever not been true, has to do with your personal rights and safety and the people around you. And so it's not just ivory tower thinkity. It's real stuff. So you should do your part to be as educated on the subjects as you can. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's my real world rant for you today. Um, so yeah, Snow Peak, it's good. <laughs> it is deviant part, and I've got my fingers crossed. I'll be voting in the general though. They are processing my paperwork, so I should have plenty of time to vote in all of the elections from now on. Yeah, well, I've never really hidden my politics. Um, I mean. You know, I'm a queer woman, so politics have some immediate personal relevance to me, given things that have been in, in question um, lately. So anyway, we went through some snow. We fought a Yeti, but not the Yeti we thought we were going to be fighting. We made a friend and we promised to come back. Oh, Link. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah, if you want heavier political talk, that's what Kentucky Route Zero is for. Woo, boy. <laughs> uh, can you just, like... You can! <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. I'm not actually sorry. I should be sorry. <laughs> Oof. Oof. That's fine, Chrono. Not every game is for everyone. Kentucky Route Zero is an extremely, extremely heavy experience, and I think it's really good and really important, and I'm really glad I'm playing it. Um, but I do sometimes need a palate cleanser. 
It's interesting, you can't really see over very well. All right, so if I remember correctly. Oh, how am I gonna get back? I guess I'm gonna have to teleport. Right? Is that? Okay, not animal tested. I support that decision because even though there are some differences, I think depending on how you play it, it's still fundamentally the same experience. So, DeviantArt, is that actually physics? Are we witnessing actual science in action by not getting stuck in the snow as a doggy? I think I'm going to have to teleport. Does that mean that I get to sled every time I come down here? Or did I fight... No, I didn't. Am I falling? No, I'm not falling. I just messed up the camera. Uh, no, I don't see a thing. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to m teleport. Wait, is this mean there's still there's still a Poe in there, guys? There's still a Poe. I'm gonna go fight the Poe. Poe, 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 Poe. You know, a lot of times I'm like, why did they name that thing that weird thing? But I'm like, okay, well, Edgar Allan Poe wrote scary stories and ghosts are scary, so it makes sense. I'm a doggy. Woof, 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 woof. What? Hold on. So I not get to go back in? Oh, wait, no. I have to have hands, don't I? Yes. I have to have hands to open the door. They should have like this little like kickboardy thingies. Do you know like so you can open a bathroom door without having to wash your hands? Or well after washing your hands without having to touch a door that's, that other people haven't washed their hands. You know, there it is. Oh, yeah. How do I get back up there? How do I get back up there? Uh hook shot. Huh. Oops, that was wrong. Don't do that. I don't remember if I do or not, Chrono. Um, I know I want to get uh, Heaven Will Be Mine. I thought I put it away. I didn't. Haha! -ha! Okay, hold on. Oh! Uh. Hmm. Oh no, that makes sense, Stephen Fart. Okay, well, let's just assume that there's some actual science involved. Also, I guess I should. Um. So there's guys that look like this. This guy right here. In a, um, the original Fantasy Star One. Oh, Dread Killer. Huh. That is a reasonable explanation that would make a lot of sense, even if it's not what I thought of. Oops. What if, hold on, what if I blew him up? What do you think? Ha ha! Well, that worked. I'll have to get more bombs, but fortunately I have some more bombs. <laughs> All right, Bow Wow, we got this. Ah! 
Wait, no, hold on. No, it was back there. It was back there. Right? Am I doing this wrong? I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. Right? Hold on. I thought... I thought I saw the Poe up here. Did I do it wrong? I did, didn't I? Oh, Tommy, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I'm like tilting my head back. I thought there was a Poe up there. Did I do it wrong? I thought there was a Poe. There's still some treasure chests I haven't gotten. How are there treasure chests I haven't gotten? I thought I could have sworn. Huh. The bat? I thought the. Oh, well, maybe so. Maybe I thought the bat was the Poe. Well, there's a Poe somewhere here. Maybe we should not do this right now. We'll come back. Unless one of you... Are you a Poe? <gasps> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. No, do you see? 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 Oh, how do I get... How do I... Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I accidentally discovered something. I accidentally discovered something. We're gonna... Oh, wait. No. Wait. No. Bow Wow. Bow Wow's gonna solve this. Yes! How exciting! <laughs> Do any of the rest of you guys have anything hiding behind you? You don't. You don't. You do, though. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Bow Wow. He says. Woof, woof. Oh, I have a golden wolf out there. I don't remember where the golden wolf is. Well, that is. Those were the treasure chests that I didn't find. Why? Oh. Oh, I never did go back in there and get that, did I? Well, that's okay. It's inconsequential. Okay, well, let's go have an adventure that's not Snow Peak as much as I enjoy Snow Peak. We'll be back. And hopefully by then I will be able to figure things out or maybe I'll get lost. Oh, look, there's hearts right outside the door. Midna. Let us warp to... Look, it's not just a ball and chain, okay? It's Bow Wow, and he's my friend. <laughs> let's see, should we go? Hmm. Let's go report to Dad, shall we? Man, I've read a few books recently that all have to do with daddy issues in different ways. Like people having lost fathers or fathers dying or so on. Well, I don't think we know who links I wonder if this game is going to go at all into Link's actual people versus his foster family. Hey. I got mail! <laughs> He's so excitable. Look at how excitable. <sighs> da 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 all right, let's see what this mail is, shall we? Mail. Agatha's dream. Oh! Huh, I wonder if that means if I get all of the bugs, Abatha will fly. I wonder if you have to, like, fight a secret battle, Abatha. 
<laughs> so this is Telma talking about my dad and his superhero brigade. Laneru. Playground for grown-ups. Down the river back. Oh, no, not that place. I don't want to do that. No, thanks. Oh. Oh, the Yeti sent me a present. The Yetis. Or not a present, a letter. I mean, a letter is basically a present. I'm thinking, actually. I'm not really very good at um, keeping up with people over chat anymore. But I want to keep up with my friends. So I was thinking that I might get in the habit of sending emails to people because I'm better about that because you only have to like send like an email like you know once a week or every other week or something like that and you can put like a whole update about what you're doing right I can't change the camera in here hello sure I will take that yeah it seemed like it would be a good uh a good decision to make like I had um, my job that I had for so long in Austin like obviously I'm not gonna just like sit around chatting with folks the whole time I'm at work but I would like work on an email to a friend and then the friend would write me back and so it would be like kind of like I've got a few extra minutes so I'm gonna work on my, my current email to my friend and it was great and I really liked that and I want to do more of that I think I would have more meaningful connections with people that way um, I'm very long-winded in emails, surprising everyone. I'm sure you guys are all like, oh my god, what, Lauren, have words? Never, that would never happen. It happens, it happens, let me tell you, it happens. Um, yes, um, uh, anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? What was I saying? Yeah, so writing letters to people. Because I might send some actual, like, snail mail letters, too, but it's tricky. Because now I live in another country and have to mail things internationally. And some people have sent me letters, which is really cool. Um, do you children have anything to say? Giovanni. That's right. I have to, have to go turn in to Giovanni. I have to turn in Maya. Hi, kitty meows. No, no, I can't do this right now. Okay. There's no way to sneak in there, right? <laughs> I... I can write short messages and short emails for work. But when it's my own, like when I'm, when I'm communicating casually... Hello, creepy doctor. He has teeny feet. Look at his teeny tiny feet. He's not a very good doctor. Um. Hmm. Pardon me coming through. Coming, coming, coming through. Ah. Uh. There's like a traffic jam here. Hi, look at me, I'm getting in the way. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon, pardon me, coming through, coming through, yeah. I'm gonna get in the way, I'm gonna mess with all of you people. Look at you, hello. I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I even knew about the game, but apparently we've all lost it. But I'm still playing this one. Let's go talk to Telma and Colin's dad. Don't remember his name, unfortunately. He's just dad or Colin's dad. No, I went through there already. That wasn't the right answer. Here, right? Yes, this is right. This is right. Okay. Hi, Corey. This is definitely the liveliest castle town and the least obnoxious castle town music. Sorry, Ocarina of Time. I seem to recall thinking that it's too cheerful. Telma! Tell me what's up, Telma! Uh, 
Ah. Oh, good. Oh, wait, is that my dad's turn to go out? No, I'm sorry, friend. Oh, he's so sad. It's the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to this kingdom as swiftly as possible. I hope people cosplay as characters in this game a lot. I think I've said that before, but it's true. <laughs> they were fine. Okay, so clearly Link doesn't talk. Which I've heard people posit actually that Link in this game is actively mute instead of just kind of passively. How do I get to Giovanni's? A shortcut. I feel like there should be. Once upon a time, there was a way to get there. Is it being a dog? Do I have to be a dog? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitties. How do I get, oh, 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 here we go, here we go, hold on. I figured it out. <laughs> Little visual cues. Hi, Dosmea. All this gold. <laughs> Doki, look, I still can't move. Okay, so now we don't have quite enough. We'll get there though. One more po. One more po. Oh, the kitties are all excited. They're still excited. Look at how cute they are. Oh my god, I want cats. Oh my god, I want cats. I want cats in my life. Don't you just want to pick a cat up? And hold the cat lovingly while you go running through the streets. Don't you want to do that? Look, Link knows how to hold a cat. You cradle it like that. You never pick a cat up by its belly. You pick it up like under the paws. You can pick up kitties and puppies in this game. Alright, so I want to go to the south wood. I should probably go buy bombs, shouldn't I? Okay. I've only gotten four out of 19 pose here. What if I ran around as a dog and sensed everything? Uh. It went away! It went away! <sighs> it's not very nice. We're looking for Pose, okay? Midna's not impressed. Oh! Hold on. Have you always been here, friend? Oh, I can't talk to you. Right, I forgot I'm a dog. <laughs> All right, now I'm not a dog. Talk to me. Is that even more difficult than getting, did I get him the last time? Hmm. Yeah, one of my sister's best friends is super, super allergic to cats. But she loves to pick them up and rub her face on them, and then she's really sad. Oh, they mostly come out at night. You're right, it's daytime. Thanks, Ty. Yeah. 
Hello, bug. There's a bug there. Bug fans love that golden color. I caught a bug. And I killed some nasty planties. Oh no, you bit me! That's not very nice at all. None of you are very nice. Gonna get some monies. Oh wait, can I climb up here? Have I climbed up here before? I don't think I have. That guy wants to eat me. Too bad, I'm gonna eat you with my sword. My sword's gonna eat you. Yummy! I, 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 I got nothing. Come on. Oh my God. What are you guys even doing? That's some impressive gliding. Come on. Birds. The birds aren't fighting me. That's right. You scared me. You scared my sword's gonna eat you. One left. No. Two left. Okay. I think that's all of them. So what's going on here? Uh... Well, I, uh, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, I didn't, I, I, I was like, oh, this looks, this looks significant, and I meant to do the sensing thing, but instead, I just dug directly into the thing as though I knew what I was doing. Uh-oh. No, there's bees. This is not good. Yes! Hundred rupees, you don't say. Is there a buggy? I thought I saw a buggy over here. I'm not messing with you. Not messing with you. Just taking some, taking some rupees, you know. Hmm. Those bees are there. Making you scared. I'm scared. I want to fish. I want to fish here. Let's do some fishing, shall we? Fishing. So I can remember how to do this. Oops. I did it wrong. Oops, I did it wrong again. And now I fell into the water. I mean, it seems like a reasonably effective way to swim, doesn't it? Yes, I want to catch the underground fish. Don't you? Okay, let's see if I can remember, if I can figure this out. That's the wrong button. I'm hitting the wrong button. I hit the button. I hit the wrong button, apparently. I don't know. I don't swim very well, so. That's the wrong button. What am I doing wrong? What button am I supposed to hit? What am I doing? Help. Help. 
No, I already caught the forbidden fish. There we go. I caught the fish. I remembered. Oh no, small fry! Small fry, you see? You see? It's very cute and very clever. It's a Wind Waker reference and I'm happy. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't hit the A button, I hit the fishing button. I've never really been much for fishing. Oh, that didn't work. This is what I think of your fairy circle. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those guys. Okay. I was all excited. I was like, that's making an interesting sound, but it was just a bad guy. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh my god, Bow Wow. Bow wow, you and me. Oh my god. Bow wow also mows the, mows the lawn. Bow wow, you're the best. <laughs> well, that didn't work so well. Anyway. These look like actual flowers that I know and love a lot that I have no idea what they're called. Aren't you excited that Bow Wow can smash holes and things? I sure am. Where does this go? Have I done this hole? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, apparently I can't. Wait, hold on. That didn't work. I feel like there should be something else I can do there. Oh, look at this. No! That's not what I meant to do. But it is what I did. Now where am I? Ah, okay. Link comes to on the shores of Lake Hylia. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, right, I forgot that you can actually see the pose just on the map. All right, so we're going to do this. Hey, Poe, hey. Poe, Poe. Yeah, now we can do that. Hmm. Let's go back to Giovanni. Because why not, right? Right? And then we can actually progress the story. <laughs> Look, they're all hookshots. Everything's a hookshot. Oh, man. I feel like I could just, like, make a t-shirt that was just, like, Link and Bow Wow and all of his other hookshots and just be like, I like hookshots. You know? What do you think? I made... St I guess I could make stickers. Stickers are easier than shirts. What do you think? Should I do that? Would that be a fun bit of... I don't know. Do people like things like that? Is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know where the golden wolf is, but I have to go turn in Giovanni's 
I want to see what happens. We have a level one Giovanni fix. Whoa, look at all these soldiers. Hi. Hi, soldiers. What are you up to, soldiers? That guy is singing. I relate. <laughs> that can be arranged, Desmaya. Did I go the right way? Hello, friend. What are you doing? Oh, right. These two boyfriends. I want to introduce them. <gasps> puppy, 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 puppy. Hi, puppy. Come here, puppy, 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 puppy. I got lost. I got lost. And I don't remember how. Oh, no. I lost the puppy. Wait, I heard meows. Yep. We got it. I love the cats are, are unperturbed. Oh, it's a jingle ball. A kitty kitty jingle ball. That's adorable. I miss cats. I really, really do. But I'm not allowed to have a cat until I want a cat for itself and not because I want my cats back, you know? Dugga, 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 dugga. So you can move, you're still not human. The cave on the western edge of the Gerudo Desert. Hmm. Oh, that's cool! All right, I'm I'm excited about this. Hello, kitty. I mean, we did we did a good job. Oh my god, I love Link coming out of there with his fan club. Hello, kitties. Don't suppose that. Yeah, I can't hook shot on that. You can't hook shot in this game. Oh my god, you see those cats? Hello, soldiers. Soldiers, do you appreciate? Do you appreciate? You don't appreciate? Look at my cat. Look. Behold this feline. No. I have a cat. You don't appreciate my cat? Sirs. Sirs. Thanks, Disney. Ah, uh, man. That was a satisfactory direction for a side quest to go. <laughs> That's a good quote. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Okay, well, that's cool. Wait, hold on. Were there like dig spots there? Wait, no, hold on. Something's glowing over there. We're gonna go get it. That's a buggy. Is the thing that's glowing over here also a buggy? Yes, I got it. Okay, well, anyway, we're gonna teleport. Oh my gosh. So does that mean that other people like hookshots as much as I like hookshots? That's amazing. Let's go visit our friends. Looks like there's a doggy there too. It looks like Fox McCloud's face, doesn't it? It kind of does, I think. The golden wolf symbol on the map. Okay, good. We all love hookshots. Somebody remind me, like, send me a message or something on, uh, 
on Discord, like, to remind me that I want to draw an Isle of Hookshots picture. Because... Ha! Hello. Okay, fine. I want to donate to the creepy baby. All right, so sticker or button? What is a better form of hookshot appreciation expression? Man, you can't do this. <laughs> Think. Is there a reason for us to be open? No, I don't know how to get there. Yes, I want to do it. I just... I don't know. Oh, let's buy some bombs. That seems like a very safe decision. No harm will come to me. Oh, his house is made of corrugated metal. That's <laughs> instead of wood. Witch bombs. Bomblings have recently shown up. And so I feel like I'm probably going to want them. Mystic Quest did have a hook shoddy thing. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. All right. He's really committed to bombs. Like, they are his life. Look, it's a hook shot, Chrono. That was my first hook shot. Let's go visit the, let's go visit Woofs. Woof, 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 I'm a chicken. Woof, I'm a chicken. You're a chicken, actually, I'm not a chicken. However, I could be a woof, a woof woof. I think this is the right way. We're gonna learn a new move for me to forget. Although I've totally accidentally done some of the really cool moves that they taught me. There's a, there's a wolf around here somewhere, right? Mystic Quest has incredible music and it was my first JRPG, so I'm rather partial to it. Hello, friend. Jump into my brain. Thinks we think of um, Yuri from Shadow Hearts. Sort of thing that could happen. I remember this. Ah. Thank you. It's like, I'm going to tell you what you're doing wrong. I'm like, okay, fair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it reminds me how to play it. Because I sure don't remember. All right, let's see how bad do you think this is going to be. The jump strike, let it be hewn into your mind. You're going to hit me in the head until I remember. I'm pretty sure that's what repeated blows to the head do. They make you remember things better, right? Oh, man!
That's so cute. Like the the way that they cross blades like that is so cute. Haha! -ha! Probably blue glass. Link is so proud of himself, and he wants this guy to be proud of him too. This guy is proud of him. Oh. I feel like, you know the Twitter account, the video game advisor Twitter account? Don't you feel like this is something, like this is a screenshot right here. This, this moment in the game should be something that VG advisor, I'm gonna tweet them. I'm gonna take this photo. Oh, we'll see if I can do it without. Okay, I'm gonna send that to them. Cause they totally will. There we go. Hey, we meet again one more time and maybe then we'll get the mystery of who you are, my friend. Are you a previous Link? Are you the reincarnation of Link to the Past Link's uncle? Probably not, because that wouldn't make any sense. Why do they still have the bugs you've already got? Why? Why? And again I ask, why? Our bomb bombs aren't to move though. Nor really are they a hook shot. I mean I guess they could be if you really wanted them to be. It's a broken wagon. Not a hook shot. Just to bug you, Wesley Cake, nicely done. And we gotta get away from town so that it can become daytime so we can go donate money. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys doing? We just had a bunch of, uh, just had a bunch of folks come by. Hello, welcome back to Twilight Princess. We have been absolutely progressing the story. And by that, I mean we fought some Poes and we were a dog. And we're amassing some money so that we can donate it to the creepy baby. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Hold on. I can finish you off. There's a finishing blow, right? There's a finishing blow. Mmm. You make it you make a compelling argument, do you fart? Haha! -ha! Finishing strike! Isn't that also Valkyrie profile? Yeah, we're just gonna fight a bunch of things here while we wait for it to be day. Does this... What a strangely built bridge. It's got, like, steps going. I mean, I've never really constructed a bridge, to be fair. Oh, just me. That sounds like putting a bomb in your, um... In oh, what the heck, guys? Go away. It sounds like putting a bomb in your... the tornado boomerang you know sometimes it goes and blows something else up sometimes it goes and blows you up living dangerously living on the edge does this have birds 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 no I woke the birds up. You gotta kill them. That's what you gotta do. They look like the birds. Not not you. These guys. They look like the birds from Battletoads, don't they? I just want it to be daytime. Then I'll stop slaughtering enemies for fun. Nonviolently. <laughs> Get back here, you butts! Their eyes are all creepy and glowy and possessed. Ha ha! 
Ha! Ha! Come on! I've got a pretty good... Pretty good... Oh, these guys don't want to fight me. Do I have a way of changing night to day? Do I have that power? I don't think I do. Without an ocarina, I don't know how to use time control. Ha ha! Sorry. I could try killing one with Bow Wow. What a concept. So the tree apparently doesn't like the birds because it gives you a, it gives you a tip. When you defeat all the birds, it's like, oh, thank goodness. Those are gone. Anyway. I've already picked up this glowy bug, didn't I? Yep. In fact, I probably just caught it and then forgot. Caught it and forgot it. Turbo tunnels? Oh! Yes! Likewise. There's there's a level in that game that is literally unplayable with two characters, apparently. Like, it can't be beaten. Like, something's wrong with it. Other than the fact that it's Battletoads. Wow, Chrono, are you sure you're real? Is that kind of like my, my friend's uncle works for Nintendo? I think I've seen people play the other stages and not like speedrunners. I mean like real humans in front of me. What else am I going to do with my money? Nothing. That's what. Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh my god. I really wonder how that was, like, originally, like, language-wise. These guys are just waiting around to throw me up into the air. They cannot wait. Oh, I could turn in bugs for money. Oh, I guess I do have some bugs. Speaking of bugs, do I have this bug? Oh, I do have this bug. Something is making a gold sculptula sound. What is it? What is making the gold sculptula sound? I want to push this out of the way. Apparently I don't get to. Do I get to blow things up? Is that allowed? Am I permitted to use bombs in here? No. I just want to either jump on the furniture or destroy the furniture. Is that so much to ask? Apparently so. <sighs> I am so displeased. I can't roll. I can't roll. I can't jump. I can maybe if I'm a dog. Maybe I can do this if I'm a dog. I can. I can jump on things if I'm a dog. Ha! You tried to tell me I couldn't be on the furniture. Just because I was a human. 
But you were wrong. You were wrong. Yeah, this is very definitely meant to be for a wolf. For a wolf. And a wolf. And a wolf. There had been, I swear there was a little Midna symbol. But now I don't see it. I just want to figure out what's making that noise. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Dog senses don't pick anything up except for that buggy. Guess it must just be the buggy that I heard. Well, anyway. I don't know. I don't know how many bugs I've got to go turn into her, but we can go turn in some bugs. Look at me, I'm doing side quests. This game's side quests are definitely more enjoyable and less frustrating than the side quests in Wind Waker, which as much as I love Wind Waker, it's not its greatest strength. Let's teleport back to Hyrule Castle. Oh, sorry, yawning. <laughs> Probably so. Midna's like, yes! I'm going to sit on this puppy. <laughs> We're going to have an adventure. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da -da -da. I love, like, as, as much as it's a little thing, I feel like the, um, the woof button is a really nice little quality of life improvement. Like, it'd be so much more annoying if every single time I wanted to woof, I had to go through, like, three steps. You know? Three steps before you can, before you can woof. What's the fun in that? Okay, let's see if I can find... I'm pretty sure she's, like... This way. Look at all these fancy people. Can I go into this fancy place? Or are they going to be like, You're not fancy enough for our fancy place. <gasps> My favorite. Interesting. I don't know exactly the same, but it is definitely possible to lose sight. Flying Platypus, thank you for following. Yeah, no, people watching is actually surprising everyone. People watching is one of my hobbies too. I really enjoy it. I really, that's like one of the best parts of, if not the best part of going to the airport, other than presumably you're going to go someplace you want to be or picking somebody up is if you go to an airport, the people watching is amazing. And my sister and I used to like watch people walk by and we kind of make up a story about somebody based on like the things that we picked up basically, you know, what they were wearing, who they were talking to, what they were carrying. I don't know. I should do that more. I think that'd be an interesting exercise. You don't give me important life advice. Pretty sure I eavesdropped on these as a dog before. <laughs> well, good for you two. Hello. Well, well, if it isn't you. Through the door on the side of this cafe is a viewing platform. What's the viewing platform? Oh, 
I mean, it is a pretty nice town. Let's see what's through here. So I've been surprised to find that malls are actually still successful and active here. And I think because when it's sufficiently cold and you want, like, because, like, strip malls I'm used to having in Texas, which apparently strip malls aren't really a thing here. I had to kind of talk through those differences um, with my roommate here. But, like, I don't know. It's a, it's a thing um, that that makes a lot of sense given the climate. Oh my gosh! Look at these cuties! Aww. Regional pricing. It is innovative! Ha! That's cute. He's like... I like how he's completely unfazed by the fact that I don't purchase from him. Things aren't really progressive, or pro progressing, Blues, but we're still playing the game. Yeah, well, at the airport, you see, like, some of the most concentrated examples of human experiences. You know, like, like you see people at some, some of their most vulnerable. You see, um... People connecting, people fighting, people really stressed out, people reuniting. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Oh, well, you can't get into the castle because there's a giant thing around the castle preventing anyone physically from walking in. But okay. Go on, babies. I haven't been there yet. Oh, I would take you on the deck. Oh no. You're infecting your children with your unhealthy work ethic. This is not good. Hello? Yes. It is not that we can't get there because they say no. This is actually, surprisingly, the problem here is not racism. <sighs> ah, it's a secret to everyone. Ah. Haha. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. And here's the crust. The viewing platform. So he doesn't want any of them to come out here and see that Hyrule Castle is enclosed in an, an evil glowing pyramid of evil. As opposed to an evil glowing pyramid of not evil, I suppose. Redundancy is not an issue. All right, well that happened. Gorons are really cute. I thought so, Blue Glass. I thought that was... Okay, I guess it's not a pyramid. I guess it's a D8. Oh, I got mixed up. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this right. No, not there. Um... But yeah, I thought it's a secret to everybody was a, was a translation thing. So I'm excited if I was right. Here, no. Uh, 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 there we go. I knew there was a way to walk down here. I just couldn't find it. All right. Got to go to Bug Mansion where the bugs go. This is it. This is the bug house. It has bugs on the door and the wall. It's making buggy sounds. Okay, now everybody keeps telling me 
that I should say no to her. She's like, no, I can tell you've got bugs. Everyone has told me that I need to do this, and she'll yell at me. <laughs> she's she's pretty polite about it, all things considered. She's not like, curse you and your and your evil bug lying ways. She's just like, uh oh, I want bugs. She's a little bit heartbroken. <laughs> Don't braid the bug's tail. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be good. I have... I have a partner pair of buggies. I have several partner pairs of buggies. Oh man! Ladybugs are really cute. I don't know why ladybugs are so lovable, but they really are, you know? I mean, there's the ladybugs that take over your bathroom, and those aren't very cool. But... Oh, that's fantastic, Tosmea. So they eat aphids, right? Yes. Look at all this money I'm getting. Hopefully I'm not giving her these bugs and they're going to be tortured to death. Oh, wait. I can just click on the screen. Near the waterfall basin of Zora's River. Alright, we're gonna give her another pair. Have people cosplayed as her because she's adorable? A little bit creepy, but adorable. Oh no, are you in love with them? She says, when I look in your great big eyes, I... And then she trails off. I wonder if we get to be like, shrunk and do the crazy ball with her. You know? Like, she's like, oh, would you like to go to my ball? And you're like, yes. And she's like, alrighty. And then, like, there's, like, a flash of light, and next thing you know, you're, like, in a little ball place, but, like, all of the bugs are, like, Link-sized, because Link is actually bug-sized, and he's like, what? And then you, like, look in the window, and it's, like, her great big eye. Yes, that does seem to be the number of it, Dosmea. I think that's all my buggies. Yes, that's all my buggies. Aww. But she's harmless. At least if you're a human. Maybe if you're a bug. I don't know. What? No, if I had one more, she would she would yell at me, right? Who was I talking about? What did I say? Did I get did I get names confused? Now I'm confused. Oh, did I say Dosmea? Okay, sorry Dosmea. Apparently you and Blue Glass are, are, are both talking enough that my brain can't process it. Oh, no, I do have a bug. Okay. It's like, I don't remember. Oh, I do I have a roly-poly. Roly-polies were like my favorites when I was a kid. What names did you guys know roly-polies by?
<laughs> cool. The bugs seem to be pretty happy in her bug place. What is a woolly bear? Oh man, weaponized soul, did you actually learn the, the like, I think Pillbug is the official name and not Roly Poly? But see, they're Roly Polies because they roll up. And when you poke them with your finger, then you can roll them around. And around and around. And around and around. And the Roly Polies love you very much, I'm sure. Alright. Let's teleport somewhere. Yo, I feel like when you play with roly-polies and talk about roly-polies, you're probably not writing the word roly-poly. You may or may not be able to read. South Woods? <gasps> Look, that looks like there's a po. No, Blues. No way. No way. No. It's sending me to the south woods. Are you telling me roly polies are crustaceans? Armadillo day? Armadillo day? Are they seriously called armadillo day? That's literally the best name any bug has ever had. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a dilemma-dome. Oh my god. I'm like delighted beyond words. It's an armadillo bug. I don't think I ever heard them called armadillo bugs in Texas. And that's where I would expect them to be called armadillo bugs. But they're armadillo. But they're not just armadillo. They're, they're armadillo. Armadillo day. Armadillo day. My mind is blown. I'm gonna text my mom and be like, Mom, did you know that roly polies aren't bugs, they're crustaceans? She'll be like, What? Lauren, what? I know, I feel so educated now. Thank you. Now, is it. That there's like some edible sea creature that's an arachnid. And therefore people have speculated that if you had a giant spider, you would could eat it and it would be delicious like that. I vaguely knew that, Deviant Fart, but I didn't know that armadillo bugs were a thing. Where am I going? What am I doing? Right, but I think that the, the implication was that they would taste like, um, uh, lobster? I don't know where I got that from, though, so I might be completely nuts. Hold on. Look at all those little, but those little fishies. We got you, fishies. Link looks so excited. There's clearly like... So the translation seems to have a lot to say about... Or uh, seems to have a lot of little references to the other games in the series, which is really cute. Because small fry... Hoi, small fry! Bird-eating spiders eat birds, but how do they get the birds? Do I want to know? Link. Link, honey. Link, that's like two inches of water, honey. There's not gonna be fish there. 
You know? Okay, Link. Okay. Huh. Oh, well, speaking of birdies, there's birdies there and buggies. But not bugulas. No bugulars here. Huh. Fascinating. Do they have silk? I hope, by the way, I apologize to anybody if you've got, like, arachnophobia or something equivalent. Um. In my defense, Agatha started it. Bugatha. I wasn't sure if they had, like, vestigial silk or something like that, you know? Take that lawn. Well. Hmm. Oh, does that mean if I use the Poe lantern... I don't have to turn into a wolf? That would be amazing. I would do that. Okay, that's kind of what I that's kind of what I figured, 95 fathoms. But I wasn't sure what was that. Are there new animals in here? New enemies. Oh. Oh, there are rats! Oops, that's the wrong button. Hold on. That's the right button. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, Bow Wow is so powerful! Pow Wowerful! Look. I'm really good at this. Huh. That sounds really not fun, Dismaya. It, it is okay. Bow Wow can be a hook shot too. Bombs being a hookshot are really the ones that we weren't sure about. I'm gonna carry this on my head. No, not really on my head. Carrying it like it's like a red shell. You can throw it at someone. Fishing rods are definitely hookshots. They're just specialized hookshots. I think I have to woof, don't I? Maybe? No? Okay, fine, maybe I have to hook shot. Um, ah, no. So I thought. Nah. All right. It did not get eaten by the bu bad guy. Whew, that was exciting, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. I'd forgotten how exciting this whole section is. Alright, Midna, we did it. That's an analog hook shot! Oh, man. 
I'm glad Link can still read. Even as a dog. Don't actually know if this is the right place. But this is where I am. Oh, we've got an eye out for buggies and pose. <gasps> is that dad? That's dad. Hold on. I gotta go transform. Let me go f find a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. There certainly wasn't a dog just here a second ago. Hi, Dad! I found the place all on my own. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, he's thoughtful. You know, it actually does divide pretty neatly into four. Guess my phone booth comment was very funny. I'm very funny. I'm comedy, Lauren. I do the humor with words and faces. Huh. Hmm. The ancestors of the Hylians. Birds. Maybe. Hook shots. Yes. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Do I get a giant bird companion? Stuff. Oh, Hogger, that does not sound like a very considerate thing for your dad to do. I'm sorry. I am so excited. And like the fun thing is he's like he's got it on his arm here like it's like a like it's um some sort of a raptor, you know? But instead it's a slightly larger than average sparkly chicken that looks very pleased with itself. What if I can talk to it when I'm in dog mode? Oh, it seems distressed, though. Alright. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm not quite sure where we're going. place him I'm gonna turn into a dog okay fine I'm too close to dad I don't get to uh. here I don't think so 
Hang on, I want to talk to him. <gasps> what? Okay. I like that he's still distressed, you know? Oh. Bad news, Lauren. Well, at least we're gonna go sailing around in style. Sorry, Dad. All right. I actually don't know the way that I'm supposed to go here. If that was it, I don't think so. Let's see what's up here. Have I been through here? Probably. Maybe. Hmm. No, this is wrong. Okay. Wait, but there's a Poe in here, isn't there? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta... Well, and he's larger than average, too. I think they think it's extra funny that he's just like a regular cuckoo. Okay, hold on. So if I... Oh, will you go away? Jeez. How inconsiderate. Rude. Digu nuts, yes. Good. There's a cow here, right? I actually don't know. But there's treasure chests here I never got. Part of me wonders if I should get them. Because, like... I'm a... I'm very good at staying on target, can't you tell? I actually don't know if there's a Poe here. Or if I should go in and get the treasure chest I never got. Is that a thing that they do? Are they going to have me go back to previous dungeons to get Poe's? Yeah, I can't make a decision, so I'm just gonna mow the lawn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just concerned there might be a Poe. Is that how this works? Is that how this game works? There's a treasure chest in here that I haven't gotten. Did I just give up? Where did it go? Hmm. What if I That's one way of doing it. <laughs> Bow Wow and I are having some fun here. Oh wait, I think I saw what I did wrong there. I think I saw what I missed. This. That's awfully simple. You. Be prepared. Ah. 
There's, there we go. Okay. Are you guys ready for this treasure chest that I apparently didn't get the first time around? So now I have three bottles, which is very exciting. I definitely did not have the maximum number of bottles in a, a wind waker. Wake the winds. Yes! That's swell! Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and go get the chicken again. But hey! Did you see how many rupees we got? We got like 50 whole rupees. It's the best. We need to come up with a theme song for riding around with the chicken. Because I don't need a name for the chicken. There needs to be some sort of a hilarious and awful pun. For our chicken friend. Okay. Now. How to do this. I don't know. I've never played Excite Bike, but it could happen by accident. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put you down here, chicken. And then I'm going to... Oh, wait! No, no. Um. I was like, oh, I'm going to use the leaf, but I don't have the leaf. Well, I don't think it works, honestly. I tried locking on. I thought maybe I didn't actually. No, I didn't actually. Oh well. Chicken? I'm gonna have to do this chicken. Alright, let's pick up the chicken. Am I going to have to carry this chicken the entire time? Probably. Oh no, I have to time my chicken. Oh, yeah, blue glass. I'm not intending to... Uh... Oops. Good chicken. I'm glad the chicken just doesn't just, like, immediately fly off. Oh, hello. Hold on, chicken. I've got to go. Wow, wow. No, that's the wrong. Right? Right? I thought... I thought there was a thing. Am I forgetting how to do that? Monies? No. No monies. All hearts, no monies. Okay, well. How do I work with this? I thought there was a thing you did with this. But it's not working. What am I doing? Oh, I did this one when I was here. Oh, I was here for the Master Sword? Oh. I didn't remember that it had been here before. Am I going to leave the chicken out there? Oh. Okay. Yes, Skull Kid. We're all very impressed. I didn't realize this was that place.
did it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, well, they had to make the Skull Kid look a little more, um... Serious. Because it's not that... Um... It's not that, um... Majora's Mask isn't serious. But it's... Hmm. How to describe? It's like kind of almost like a childlike grotesqueness. Okay, so you figure out where to go based on which one of these is open. Oh, hush you. Nobody's impressed with you. Go away. So you're gonna go down that tunnel with the mushrooms next to it. Oh, go away! Do you mind, friends? They do mind. This way. All right, so I have to figure out puzzle-wise, but I remember how to solve this puzzle. Oh, hey, check it out, there's a Poe. I'm gonna fight a Poe. How do I get up there? These guys really have the creepy, creepy moon face. How do I get up to you? Yes, 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 everyone is very impressed with you. I want to go fight the po. 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 Okay, so. All right, we got a po. So there's there's prankster and then there's malicious. And there's kind of a childlike innocence to being horrible sometimes. Something that people I think get wrong when they think about um uh Peter Pan as a character. Where they're like, ah, he's innocent and sweet. And I'm like, oh he's innocent alright. He's just not sweet. Because children can be such brats. Okay, so this is not the right way. I don't know where you went, friend. Well, he stole it because of reasons that have to do with... No, will you... Will you knock it off? I'm so lost now. Like, I understand in theory what to do here, but I'm obviously not playing it right. <sighs> yep. Uh huh. Everyone's very impressed with you. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Whirling around and around and around. Uh? I have no idea where I'm going at this point. Oh, that looks like probably maybe where I'm going over there. What happens if I do this? Get 
can you light lanterns with this? These are lanterns, right? Oh, stop! Did I do this already? I bet I did this already. This is gonna be like... Oh, you got a stamp. Oh, I got bombs. You got bombs! You got strange puppet critters. I think this is where I wanna go. It looks different than the rest anyway. Doesn't it? Watch this take me out where I came from. Yes, um, that is correct, Blues. Um, if you read the original Peter Pan book and you try to put adult, adult logic to it, it is very dark in some places. But you have to think about it as, like, kid's perspective. Like, pirates and kids die in Neverland all the time, but you're like, do they actually die? What am I supposed to do here? The way you could tell that you were supposed to go last time was that if you were going the wrong way, the path the pathways were closed. Now I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's glowing in here. Something's glowing in here. Oh, there he is. Hello, friends. raspberries at me. I think he was. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> but like, even the sounds that he makes in this game are very like cute. Yes, Peter... Peter cut off Hook's hand and the crocodile ate it. It's not even Lord of the Flies. Um, that's not what I mean by applying adult logic. I mean, if you play, if you are a child and you play a game and somebody dies in that game, then they're just, they're fine afterwards. So it's not like if we as an adult applying logic logic to the story of Peter Pan hear about characters dying, we think about what would happen in a serious story written by adults for adults in which a person, a real flesh and blood human, has ceased to exist. But in Peter Pan, everything's kind of pretend. And yes, the crocodile learned the taste and wanted more. Um, somehow the crocodile also wound up eating a clock much to Hook's uh, appreciation. I thought that was a bird, but it's a skull. You know, they that mistake all the time. So it's like, what? No! Um, so admittedly, I have not seen Hook in a very long time. Wait, am I going backwards? What am I doing wrong? Hook was glad. It wasn't his doing that the crocodile ate a, a clock, but he was glad for it. Yes, yes, yes. We're all very, very scared of your puppetness. But why do I go from here? I don't know. Right, but fairy tales are dark in um, a way that's like these were created during an era where death was closer. Like in the modern era, death is for many people very, very far away. You know, 
Like we've sanitized it and we've run away from it and so we don't... Hmm. Sorry, I'm attempting to solve a puzzle, fight enemies, and have a conversation. Oh no, Hook was really great, really glad that he ate a clock because that meant that he could, f that he knew when the crocodile was approaching. It actually says so straight up in the book. Because otherwise, Hook just wouldn't know. That's not a bug. Oh. So when I was a kid and I read Peter Pan, I was obsessed with Peter Pan's story. I loved the animated movie, which has not aged well. Just straight up has not aged well in ways that are, well, all right then, which admittedly the original story had some of that too. Um, That was one thing that I really appreciate about the live action one that came out in 2004. Which I was very excited about because I love the story of Peter Pan. But when I was a kid, I first read Peter Pan. Um, after loving, like, I had like an abridged for kids version of it. Um, and... The... The book is not written for children. And by that, I don't mean it's inappropriate for kids. I mean, it talks about how we can never go back to that land. And as a child who prided herself on her imagination and resolved to never grow up, um, I was personally affronted by the implication that I would never be able to return to that land. And I was also very upset um, at the assumption that I, as old enough, oh, I guess it is a cracked wall, but I don't think that I'm going to do anything to the wall here. Um, I never liked the Mary Martin one. All right, well, let's see if a certain uh, smashy boy can help. No, doesn't look like it. That was satisfying. Yeah, like, I don't think that you can smash the wall here. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure that you can do much of anything here. But yeah, so I eventually realized that I loved the idea of Peter Pan. I don't know where to go running around in circles. I loved the idea of Peter Pan, but the book wasn't written for me as a child. It was written for uh, it was written for adults who swore they were never going to grow up when they were children. Right, the left hand path. Can't go through there. All of the doorways here are closed. And I got stuck on a tree. All right, so that didn't work. I don't think it's a follow the music puzzle. Like the music sounds pretty s steady to me. So it was a follow the music puzzle. In the, uh, in an ocarina of time, which I was about to call the first game, which in a way actually is the first game, you know? Here we go. You look for the lantern. I 
turn the music up and I apologize if that makes things more uncomfortable for you guys as far as the uh, echo goes. I saw the, the lantern. Usually the lantern light means that he's here. Well, and also it's the one that the branching story stuff comes from, right? That's where it branches. Here we go. Okay, hold on. I would love to continue the conversation about Peter Pan, but... I'm having a hard time with... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm doing it all wrong. I have no idea. Literally none. Because I thought I had it. And then I didn't. You see, here's the, the light. You see? Yeah, I hear him. that him up there? That is him up there. <laughs> Did you hear his little giggle? with ferns on top of it. Now you can see the light of his lantern here. These are different locations that I haven't been. Ah. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you see, he's kind of like got a gear around one eye, like Clock Town. And somebody said that that's, um, that's Deku Link's, um, the instrument that he's playing. I don't know how I hit him, but I did.
All right. Goodness, there's a lot of you guys. This isn't there. Okay. Did I get you, child? Child's not so happy. No, he is happy. The two of us of time. Yeah, see the fact that that's like, it's all a game to him. As creepy as he is. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that the, um, on his face. Oh, look, there's birdies, but not chickens. All right, so here's a special new place. So pretty. Oof. Shortcut. I hear a buggy. Where's the buggy? Oh, hello, friends. Oh, there's more. I hope I don't have to fight them. I would be really sad if I did. Hi, Midna, no, what's up? And is like, oh, this place is important. I'm like, yes, yes it is. Where's the buggy? Hold on, if I'm a wolf, I can see the buggy if I'm sensing. I swear there was a buggy. I got that buggy, didn't I? Did I? Well, we're about to find out. We're going to get this buggy, if not. Hold on. Wrong button. Wrong button. Hold on. Oh, it's a snail! Snails aren't bugs. Although I guess if roly polies are crustaceans, then they count. Hold on. Got it. Oh, I got him already. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if I can talk to this statue friend. Hello. Hello, statue friends. Do I have to be a doggy? Hello, statue friend. Um. Let's be human again. Can bats be bugs? Are they are they considered bugs in this game? Smash the rocks. Hmm. Well, I'm back here. I have the sword. The sword of legend. And I'm failing at jumping down. Link can't jump down like a normal person. He's got to leap around from wall to wall to wall to wall. Hmm. This. Hold on. Hello, friends. You're not going to talk to me this time around. Hmm. Oh, I should probably save. Shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. 
So are we saying that everything can be a bug just like everything's a hookshot? This seems significant. Oh. Oh, it became a door. Okay. Well, that's handy. I'm glad it didn't take my sword. It's not like the, uh, the final hole in mini golf. <sighs> you gotta have a mini golf reference. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, now there's bad guys here. I don't want there to be bad guys here. Okay, well, we're gonna have to woof. Hold on. Woof is the only way that I can easily... Holy crap, there's a lot of them! Holy crap, that's a lot! Okay, Lauren. There's a lot going on here. attack your butt. Okay. Okay, hold on. It's the only way I can think of to do that, you know? Like, I have a very hard time fighting multiple enemies at a time um, and killing them simultaneously unless I'm uh, wolf. Woof, woof, woof. All right. Well, that wasn't so bad, and now we can teleport. Yes, there were lots of bugs, but they weren't bugs that I wanted. Oh, wrong way. Got a little bit turned around. Well, it was a little bit chaotic. Gotta admit, I was a little bit, I was a little bit worried at first. Hello, little snail. Little snail friend. No, you're not a buggy. You're a birdie. Hold up. Hold up. Guys, guys, guys. I think we're about to experience some magic. Are you ready for magic? I'm ready for magic. I'm ready for magic. What's this going to do? Yes! 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 I knew! I knew because there was only one thing it could do. It had to open into somewhere or someone else. Yeah, please don't tell me about this. Like, I don't even know at this point that this is a dungeon, so please be careful. As far as I'm concerned, I just teleported through space and time, and now I'm in the Temple of Time, which, if I remember correctly, was actually pretty black and white. See if I have to fight these guys. I'm getting very strong run before Ornstein and Smo vibes. Oh, hello. What are you? I don't know what you are. Not gonna lie, I have had a cover of this song in the works for like five years. Where's the buggy? There's a buggy. I want the buggy. Well, specifically, there's... Ah, there's the buggy. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's the other snail! Oh my gosh! Snail back through time. So 
sorry. I know that I should be marveling at the majesty of being here. I wonder what I'm gonna do. But I wanted to get the buggy and smash the pottery. So this is stunning. And I'm pretty sure that this looks familiar. But it's interesting because the, the shape, I'm totally gonna have to fight these guys. I don't know, Moth Dude. Isn't there a whole thing, the butterfly effect? It flops its wings, it changes things. The holiest of places. Yeah, so every year for New Year's Eve, New Year's, I, I expect or I intend to release a cover of the Song of Time, but I don't do it. One of these days I will. <gasps> oh, oh, no, but this is totally what it looks like. I recognize this. I mean, maybe not exactly exactly, but this is it. And then we go through here and then Zelda's like, hey, sorry, I stole your childhood. I hope you're cool with that, right? And you're like, um... And she's like, well, we kind of had to save the world. And you're like, all right, I get it. And then she's like, what if I give you your childhood back? And you're like, okay, look, I want my childhood back. But also, yeah. Oh, geez. Strike. Link is like, this seems important. There is something really cool, and because of the way that all of the Zelda games are actually connected in some significant way, because the Zelda games are not telling a consecutive story, per se. Oh my god, I love them. They're like, just in case the coolness of this uh, was too much for you, we need a little levity. Um... But, uh, like, because the Zelda games, they're not a sequential, straightforward series, but they're, like, a more complicated, um, thematically tied together, um, having repeats and throwbacks and references doesn't feel fan y the way it does in some other series. Like, I appreciate, um, like, the Final Fantasies, which are not generally related at all, will sometimes have, like, a funny, like, like, oh, ha, ha, I see what you did there. Like, I think there's a, an Aerith selling flowers and Final Fantasy tactics and stuff, and you're like, oh, that's cute. Um, but a lot of times when you have games that are, that you have, like, a, like, a throwback thing that's, like, and you're like, that's really awkward. Why are you doing that? Whereas like here, it doesn't ever feel like that. It feels like there's something significant to the connections because they're exploring. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh, you can't just run under it. Look at how cool this is. I, if I saw this as a child, this would like shape my imagination. You know, like this is one of those... Visuals actually makes me think of playing with Legos as a kid um, and the, the clear blocks and there's like a kind of magic to that. Kind of looks like the mirror, doesn't it? Maybe not. Uh, maybe. Not sure. Oh, there's that shape in the middle. That's going to be significant. <gasps> so we don't really have... So I I enjoy some of the Mario games. What? Oh my god, oh my god, it's a little this little guy. He looks familiar. Why does he look familiar? What does he look like? 
I know you, friend. I want to take a photo. If this were Wind Waker, I would get like a photo like with my like face like through there and Wind Waker Link would be like, it'd be really cute. Um, so I really enjoy some of, I prefer actually the, ah, uh? oh, it's missing a head. No. Ah. Um. Hmm. Ah, I bet I know what I'm going to do here. So I'm trying to have mul I'm having multiple thoughts. Um. Missed. Hold on. Similar to something in Wind Waker, that would make sense. Yeah, so I like the new Marios more than I like the old Marios. Um, but the Mario games aren't, like, they're all in, like, the same series, kind of, but they're also, um, because they're not serious, they're not, like, there's not really any meaning to the fact that there are multiple Mario games. Whereas there's significance to the relationship between the different Zelda games. Oh! That's why they took off here! Why is she trying to get here? Are all the bird people that the scholar was studying? Wow. Are you telling me this is a last dungeon? Well, that's exciting. I guess we'll find out. Whee! What is this? It looks like a bell. Are you a bell? Something significant is going to happen though. Um, that shape right there, you see the holes in the owl statues were similar to that. See, this is that same kind of shape. Hmm. Anyway, I really appreciate that the um, Zelda games are doing things very intentionally and carefully. Oh! Hello. Hmm. light medallion around the base oh that's right and we saw those in the um the desert so we can't go through here because we don't have a key That is a big door. I have to find another statue? How? Where even... Hmm, hold on. What if... If the light sage didn't have a temple? So people have asked me if I'm going to play through Ocarina of Time on stream. I will say we're going to take a bit of a break from Zelda's after this probably because I've done a lot of Zelda. Key? Probably a key. Um. Yes, key. Um. But I wonder what Ocarina of Time would be like in the context of having played all of the games that come after it, you know? Like, that feels like that would be really interesting. Uh-oh, hey! Speaking of spiders, 
We get a confused little fella here. Sport. It is a bell. Right, and I'm not saying that it would be after I have played every single Zelda that ever existed, but like at some point playing playing Ocarina of Time having played some of the games that came after. Roly poly. Roly poly. I wanna go through there. Okay. Ah! Hook shot. Oh, that didn't work. Huh. Uh. I haven't played Shantae, no. <laughs> I, hmm. There's gotta be something going on here. But what? Ah! Hold on. Good thing I didn't break everything. Oh good. Okay, hold on. Trying to solve puzzles. Yes! Good. Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna need this. I don't usually enjoy platformers. Um. Hmm. Ah, what if? Haha! -ha! I have played a video game before. Oh! Lizard man, I'm gonna poke you in the belly with my sword and steal your rupee. Tail axe. Are these guys called tail axes? Because that's what they are. <laughs> Holy crap! No! That I'm not ready for. It's actually kind of exciting and also adorable. Oh, he's so mad! Oh. Oh, do you think the FOS stands for foes? Oh, you mean like if there's like Link back in time, like the previous original Link is out doing his thing? What is the significance of these guys? Am I gonna activate a trap and they're gonna go smoosh, smoosh, smoosh? Oh, hello! Not my friend. Fight some bats. Bats. Alright. Bats got fought. Now we're gonna pick up these big guys. Hello, big guy. Her. This looks important. We're gonna put you here. I 
just have to say, I think I would have stumbled around a lot more. Like, the Lauren of years past would have had a much harder time solving puzzles. I have this really weird, complicated relationship, kind of, with my past streams. Where it's really strange to go back and look at them. Um, and I worry that... I don't know. The past couple of years have been really hard, and even though... Oh my. It's a lot of bugs. It's a lot of bugs. While we were just talking about bugs earlier... Oh, hello. Oh no! Oh, I know you. No. If I spin around in circles, you might explode. Okay, well, let's take out this guy. There's a Po. I'll find a way to fight you, buddy. Hmm. Sorry, friends. I'm really not doing so great here at picking up buggies. I want to. I just want to get a buggy. Yes. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but when in doubt, brute force, brute force it out. Sorry. It makes a funny little springy noise. Oh, I guess I could shoot them. I guess I could do that instead. It's probably a bit more effective. Maybe. Yeah. Shoot the bugs! gonna get you buggy oh yeah shooting them is much more effective I'll shoot the ones that are farther away because I can probably hook shot the ones that are closer better at aiming things too. I gotta say though, having this like motion control stuff is really wonderful for that. Buggy! What are you doing? Okay. Cool. Now I'm not quite sure what that accomplished, but ah. Oh, I can shoot that, that guy. 
Hmm. Guess we better get on it then. Oh, I forgot about that. Hopefully I don't regret. Hmm. Alright, now I've got to figure out where to put this fella. So Link can still run with this guy. He's just slower. I want to fight this guy. And look, there's there's more of those little mild guys up there. The Poe is like, yeah, you want to fight me, don't you? And I'm like, I do. I really do. It's like, yeah, well, oh man, these are some serious stairs. Oh! Well, I was trying to do the fancy pants stuff that it was telling me to do. Anyway, it's kind of strange to think of like having played through enough games in this series to develop skills far beyond, oh dear, far beyond anything that I thought I would have, honestly, like. When I first started streaming games, I had a really, really hard time with a lot of different things that I now am much better at. And it's, I don't know. Hmm. Where do I put this little guy? Where do I put you, friend? I've got like literally no idea. Oh. Hmm, hold on. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Good thing he didn't break. Hmm. Looks like I want to put this guy in, on, in there. Hmm. Well, I'm better at video games. But part of me also sometimes feels like... Oh, I'm going to get the new hookshot. And it's going to go through the holes and things. Or maybe it's not a hookshot, but I'm going to get a thing that goes through. Unless... Hmm. I'm gonna get something that hooks into things. Maybe. And drags them around. Yeah, I hope I haven't like lost my sense of wonder at playing games, though, just because I mean I guess I've I get less frustrated now. How do I get up there? Where does that connect to? There. Do I see anything hookshotable? I do not, although that is green. I don't know where I can put this fella. Where are you gonna go, my friend? This song makes me think of something from a from a Mario game. See, I'm gonna like stop and take inventory here and be like, what do I have available? What can I see? What tools are at my disposal? Like, can I smash a wall? Let's find out with our favorite smashy. Smashy boy time. Oh, Minda, do you have any ideas? Yes. Okay, so no, you don't have any ideas. Thanks, anyway. I want to get through there. How do I get through there? What do I do to get through there? Why is there a hookshot thing? What's the significance of the bells? What does any of this have to do with time? How do I not have an ocarina? And yet... I am in the time. Well, I guess the thing 
is, the things that I've gotten more used to are gameplay mechanics largely, than perhaps not exclusively. I'm not like, oh, I've seen this story before any more than I was when I first started streaming. You know, like, it's not like I've suddenly uh, started consuming more stories. Um, and now I can talk more about how other games have done things. Like when we played Mythic Ocean, I was able to kind of talk about and think about how that game is related to a series of other indie games, like, like what it's trying to say related to what other games are trying to say. So there is that, which I guess kind of more of like like video game cultural literacy or something like that. Um, if I have less sense of wonder as far as the uh, the emotional or story content of games, I think that's what I'm most afraid of losing. And that doesn't have to do with playing more games. I think that has to do with having been through some really difficult times emotionally. And I feel like I am... Sorry, you guys are going to get the way too serious Lauren talk as I try and fail figuring out what to do in this room um got this guy what can I do with him there's gotta be something going on here um uh but like I feel like I'm emotionally calloused right now and it's very uncomfortable and I wonder how long I've been like that and how long I'll be like that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just saw something. Okay. A pattern on the wall. That's where I've seen you spinny, spinny guys before. All right. Okay, so am um, I supposed to bring him up this way? Probably. Well, that's alright. Never said that I did things in the most efficient way possible. Yeah, no, Blue Glass, I think you and I were both thinking it at the exact same time. I was, I was like, ah, oh, there's gotta be something I'm missing. And then I'm like, wait, there's a thing on the wall. That looks different than other things on walls, but I've seen that particular kind of thing on wall before. I think he goes actually slower when he's carrying this. I think it's not just that um, I can't roll to go faster, which is my tendency. Ah! Okay, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, efficiency can be incredible, depending on who's doing it and what their goal is. Can I make this go up another level? I can. Where does that take me? Ah, the bell. Oh my god, I'm going to start quoting the Edgar Allan Poe poem, The Bells. Kind of delightful to say. Okay. Hmm. Wrong way. Uh. I bet it's. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Gonna put you here. All right, and then there's another friend there. So now I kind of see what the point of doing that whole thing was. But if you haven't played a game before where you have to solve puzzles like this, then you, uh, you won't be like, oh, I need to try to get that thing up there. I don't know why, but I bet there's a reason why, you know? How do I, how do I? Oh. Are you serious? Oh my God. Okay, fine.
That was way farther than I thought he was gonna throw it. Okay, so there's a there's a slight delay. That's true, at least I didn't throw it off the ledge. Speaking of inefficiency, oh no, who do I have to fight now? Two of you friends. Oh, they're probably gonna do something extra special bad that I'm gonna be sad about. Can I only activate one? Yes! Caution strikes again! Sorry if I'm too loud. Haha! -ha. Oh, look at that! There's some little guys to pick up. There's a treasure chest. There's a door. There's another. God, there's just so much going on in this room. Let's go get this. It's gonna be like, you got 20 rupees. I'm gonna be like, yeah. Oh. Or it could be like, a key. That's good too. Alright, so I assume I'm going to want you. So let's see what happens. Oh, there's so many of them. Why are there so many little guys? What are they for? Oh, hey, it's the Hylian letter L. You know what else begins with L? Me. I begin with L. Oh, I guess I am low on arrows, aren't I? Unfortunately, the pots think... Oh, wait. No, the pots do think I should get some arrows. Hmm. That's still empty, though. Huh. Hmm. There's a little buddy over there. Is there anything I can hook shot to or anything around here? I don't see anything, but then how do I get over there? How do I get there? The reverse castle, obviously. Alright, do I use can I can I use the top to get anywhere else in here? I don't think so. Is this secret? No, it's not. That's true. Gowran, on the other hand, does start with a G. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna dye my hair green again. Probably gonna dye it either tonight or tomorrow. I'm missing something here and I don't know what it is, but there's like a billion little guys here. They seem to be significant. Unless I'm going to come back here. It's not showing another treasure chest. Maybe I'll just go and unlock a door. Because I can do that now. I have a key. I can use the key to unlock the door. <laughs> yes, the stamps are certainly not the most uh, thrilling reward. Ah. That's frustrating. Eep. Didn't think I was going to make it through that, but I did. Oh. Toggle. That means a toggle. That little guy wants to shoot me. Oh, hey. Something interesting is going to happen here. He's all sleepy. Oh, wow. There's a lot of floors here. I don't remember the Temple of Time being, um, being a dungeon in Ocarina of Time. Is it just that I didn't play through the right section myself and have forgotten it? I would totally believe that I've just forgotten it. What do I do with you? Hit the toggle. My... I clipped through my head. Cool. 
Oh, I want arrows. So I go through here. Got it. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Those guys are definitely less scary. Is it one of the Zelda games where you spin around them in circles until they explode? Or is that a Mario game? That sounds like a Mario game, actually. Now I have the compass. Right. Yes, I think you're right. The eyeball, guys. That's another way. All right, I'm going to go th to this other way. I think that's how I'm supposed to. Oh, that was very. Those things have a very forgiving hitbox. All right, let's slip up here. Hey! Bad guy. I'm just gonna poke you. No like slashes or cool moves. Oh, look at you. You've got a cool mask on! You feel so cool, don't you, my friend? Something else down there? No. Okay. I hear bad guys. Do you hear bad guys? Yes, yes you do. We all hear bad guys. Oh. I'ma fight you. I'ma fight you. He's like, hold, hold, hold. Oh no, that guy's got armor. Unfortunately, oh, he's not very good at having armor. Cause I, he was, he sure was squishier than I expected him to be. That's for sure. I hear more bad guys. Where's the bad guys that I hear? Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, like, I think this would have been immensely frustrating for me in the past. I'm kind of impressed that, um, I've apparently improved as a gamer. Oh, you've got a shield. Maybe I accidentally hit the other guy in his shield. Yeah, I'm stabbing him in the hindquarters. <laughs> And not lizzle threats, huh? Okay, fair. Okay, apparently I can't shoot an arrow. But I'm gonna try again. Uh, what? No. Hold on. Okay, so much for it being super forgiving. Alright. Now what? Hearts. I want to go through there and get that treasure chest. I know! I don't know how to get to it, though! You know? Like, how? I don't know. I figured that I'd be able to figure it out, but I was wrong. But you also can't get to it. See, because that's a solid wall. You move that guy back and forth. But no, you can't get through to it. See? Because these guys are in the way. You gotta be able to turn these guys off somehow. Because you can't slip through there. You can't slip through there. Oh! 
Oh, do you think that the light sage has to do with this somehow then? I don't remember if I knew that he was the owl. That seems like the sort of thing I would notice, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was. Ah! Having some trouble with the camera. Hmm. I guess we've got no choice but to keep going. That's that's true light electricity. Makes sense. Lightning is electricity. Oh look, there's a bug. Ah! Oh, why are there so many bugs? In the Temple of Time. What do bugs have to do with time? Ah, okay. Just gonna run in here, play havoc, mess them all up. Okay, so they'll totally gang up on you from behind. They're kind of like booze. That's amazing. Oh man, this is actually kind of exciting. I'm fighting bugs and for whatever reason, I'm having fun with it. That's right, bugs. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Look at this. I am the exterminator. I exterminate bugs. The bug actually isn't specific to insects, I think, technically. No, you get back here! One bug remains. Zero bugs remain. Spiders telling the future? No. No, I'm gonna use Uku. And then I don't have to redo everything. Unless Uku doesn't work the same here as she usually does. Is that the owl? An eagle? Something- oh! Oh no! Oh no. But I can't get those. <laughs> oh. That's not what I wanted. No! <sighs> there we go! Brute force. <laughs> I'm really surprised that that worked! Because <laughs> as far as I was concerned, I was brute forcing my way through that. <laughs> but it worked! Oh, there's a treasure chest up there I wanted. Oh, and there's a Poe I wanted to. Where, how do I get there? Hmm. Hmm. Got to figure that out. Let's go see what's through this door. Uh oh. This room's not going to be my favorite, is it? Oops. Not close enough to the wall. Okay, how do I get you down? But how? How? Presumably with whatever I find up here. You, do I use your tail? Do I pick you up and throw you down there? I'm gonna get a thing that's gonna let me grab those things soon. Was brute force what I was supposed to do there? Oh, 
Goodness! Yikes! Just dropped something on the floor. But I made it! I made it through that! I made it through that! Now I'm gonna get something in this treasure chest that will hopefully be... Okay, that was what I was supposed to do. Well, I'm glad. So I don't always... I don't always do the right things the way I'm supposed to. Okay. But what do I do with that? What do I do with that key? Oh, wow. There we go. As designed by Sen, yes. There's more buggies. Too slow. I just don't want to use all of my arrows. You know? So if I can get some of these guys without using arrows, I will. Okay, make such a... Listen to the sound it makes, if you can. Spring. Spring. Oop. Come here, come here, come on. Oh my god. It's funny, like, I've never enjoyed the, like, shooting mini games. Apparently they just needed to be, like, hookshot the bugs. And I'd be like, yes, sign me right up. If there's one thing I want to do, it's hookshot bugs. Apparently. Yes! Now I just gotta fight these other guys. Oh man. Are you guys ready to find out what this dungeon's hookshot is? Because I am. Whoa, whoa. Apparently, I'm not going to find it out here. This guy wants to kill me so bad. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come here, you. They're like, hey, we know you want arrows. And I'm like, yes, but not as much as I want to not get hammered by this guy. Don't smash me, please. He didn't smash me. Good. Yes, get away from the wall, because if you're stuck on the wall, I can't hit you. And nobody wants that. Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. These bells are everywhere. I do have the key, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I can just hook shot the wall. Oh, that's going to be significant later. Well, I'll deal with that when it comes to it. In the meantime, smash the things. I mean, I keep being like one more room. One more room and then I'll shut down. Um, but I might have accidentally found my way into a boss fight or a mini boss fight. Plink looks so serious. Yeah. Oops. Probably should have gone to bed or shut down before this. Oh, this is cool. Ah, it's the other statue. And in the meantime, who is my foe? You're alive. It does look a lot like a mini boss room. Can I uku my way out of here? Are so gonna be like, ha! You can't. All right. A 
I'm like trying to get a glimpse under the sword to see who this is. didn't work. Oof, hold on. Oh, is this a dark nut? Those guys I remember from Wind Waker. Sorry, my vo voice just totally Sounds vaguely familiar. <sighs> I'm gonna die. I don't even know that I have any fairies. I'm gonna die. Hold on, hold on. I may not have fairies, but I do have soup? Soup? No. That's not soup. I do have a fairy. Pots around the rooms have hearts. Right, I forgot there's like breakables and stuff. Right. As long as he doesn't put on his armor while I'm off doing this. I guess if he does that, then I'll just have to try not to die. Are you putting on your armor, buddy? No. He's so cool looking. He's cooler looking than the Dark Nuts were. Oh, actually, no, they were pretty cool in Wind Waker, too. No! Why are you turning your back to him, Link? so well for me. Oh, is this guy on the back of the box? I'll have to take another look and see. I don't know why I'm not attacking then, but I'm not. Another sword button? Oh. Okay, well, I got more armor off of you. I got more armor off of you. Oh, wow, he's cool, though. Oh, he's so cool. 
He's so cool! He's so cool! Oh my gosh! What are you? Link, that was excessive. I could probably use some hearts. This is gonna be the pulls things down. Is that a new hookshot? Is that a new hookshot? Shoddy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh no! Can you get the statue to stomp on you? You probably can. Alright, now can I cuckoo? No, I can't cuckoo from here. Alright, well. Okay, so the hole in them is significant. I thought so. Link is like, come here, my friend, come here. Now can I uku? No. No, I can't. I guess I'm still in the mini boss area. Well, that was that was cool. All right, uku. Yes. Yes, I'm glad that the bells aren't going to squish me. I'm glad that the bells are just going to... Oof. Alright. So I need to get some health, and then we're going to shut down. We're going to save the game and then shut down. Let's see if we can get some health. Yes! That counts as health. That's a non-zero amount of health. He's throwing really... Working really hard to throw these rocks. Yes, they are our statue friends. All right. I could stand to have a couple more hearts. No? No hearts. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to get rupees instead. Well, maybe I will go on a quest to get... Maybe maybe next time we'll start off by... Um, don't let me forget. Next time we are going to... We'll go drop off some money um, with... A uh, creepy baby child and then we will return or we and then we will heal along the way and maybe get some soup from the Yeti if we can do that maybe it's a spring with fairies in it we can do that or we could catch the bug all right yes 
No, that is that is a good... I do not remember where that is not animal tested, but we will figure that out. So, yes, yeah, so we'll go do those things next time. We will be streaming next week. Um, the Tuesdays after that, I will not have my computer. I will be traveling, so I will have my laptop. So I'm going to see if I can stream with my laptop. If I can, I may stream. I may take a Tuesday off and then go from there, but I will let you guys know. Um, thank you so much for joining me and uh, listening to my introspective, um, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working on understanding things better um, in life. Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. As always, um, take care of yourselves. Have a good week. We will be doing Final Fantasy VI tomorrow, and we will be doing Kentucky Route Zero on Thursday, so... Maybe I will see you then. We might even do a super late night DDR tonight. So who knows if that'll happen. Good night, all. Take care. Be good. Drink some water. Go to bed and get some sleep.